Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Asim Lectures. From this lecture onwards, we will start discussing about prokaryotes in detail and we will make a series of lectures which explains both archaea and bacteria. So let's get started. As we already discussed, the life forms are divided into two main groups. When we observe about living organisms, so we already knew that the living organisms are of two main types and these two main types are prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Now the evolutionary biologists are almost agreed on the point that all eukaryotic life forms are evolved from different kind of prokaryotic life forms or prokaryotic life forms modify themselves to become the eukaryotes. Now if we see the main difference between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes, we already knew prokaryotes are primitive living organisms which lack, they are primitive organisms and they lack membrane bounded cell organelles including nucleus. So all prokaryotic living organisms lack all membrane bounded cell organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, like Golgi bodies, like mitochondria, like chloroplast, like other plastids and etc etc. They also lack nucleus. Now we knew all eukaryotes are organisms with well defined membrane bounded cell organelles. So when we study when we study eukaryotes, we will see eukaryotic cell contain all membrane bounded cell organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, like mitochondria, like Golgi body, etc, etc. Now eukaryotes also have well defined nucleus. So in this series of lectures which is about prokaryotes, we will cover this aspect of living organism what we call the prokaryotes. Now study of prokaryotes is very very important because prokaryotic living organisms are the first organisms who actually habitate the earth who actually undergone the evolution process on earth and in our environment in our world they are a big source of different diseases and they spoil our food so they have much economic impact on our economies so before we get into the prokaryotic structure and prokaryotic uh, function and systems let's first uh, have a look on the timeline through which the prokaryotes are discovered and classified uh, during the process of their journey through the different centuries in biological classification. So first have a look on the discovery of prokaryotes and their classification through the biological timeline. The first landmark was the year 1674 when Antonio von Leeuwenhoek was studying a drop of water under the microscope which he himself built. So he saw many many small creatures running around the microscope field from here and there and he named that as animal culies. Now, word animal culies means small animals. Later, they are proved to be bacteria. After that, in year 1861, a technonomist John Hogg introduced kingdom protista in biological classification. Please do remember, at that time, biological classification run by only two kingdoms, kingdom animalia and kingdom planti. So what he did, he took all unicellular organisms discovered at that time out of the kingdom animalia and kingdom planti and place them in kingdom protista and in include bacteria as well. Another important landmark came in 1882 when a microbiologist Ehrenberg coined the term bacterium which means the small stuff. Now by the time the term monera was included in the biological classification which include different prokaryotes, what Herbert Copeland in 1938 did, he elevated the status of that division uh, protista into a kingdom and he named that as kingdom of prokaryotes a kingdom monera and the term is still in use today. 1969 was the year when American taxonomist Robert Whittaker uh, did his famous five kingdom system of classification and he keep all prokaryotes in kingdom monera which is also known as kingdom, pro kingdom prokaryotes which include bacteria, archaebacteria, cyanobacteria and other uh, prokaryotic living organisms. Now, before Whittaker, cyanobacteria were included in kingdom plant in uh, division Thallophyta. So what he did, he uh, took all prokaryotes from different divisions of classification and put it into the kingdom monera. Now most accepted system of classification nowadays is three domain system which was introduced in 1990 by Carl Woos. Carl Woos used molecular clocks which are the segments of ribosomal RNA to classification different living organisms. So what Carl Woos observed by using molecular uh, clocks which are the segments of ribosomal RNA 
that during the process of evolution, life evolved along the three lineages. So he devised three domains in biological classification, domain archaea, domain bacteria and domain eukarya. Now domain archaea and domain bacteria, they both are the domains of prokaryotes. Uh, in previous classification of Whittaker's five kingdom system classification, archaea was labeled as archaebacteria and bacteria are labeled as eubacteria. So this is a small discussion about the timeline of discovery and classification of bacteria. In next classes, we will discuss about the various features of archaea, various features of bacteria and we'll see how Carl Woos is able to separate them from each other in two different domains. For that, keep watching my channel. Please do like and subscribe to the video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.